Hello and welcome to another complete OCR GCSE PE lesson. In this one we'll be covering the final learning objective in Chapter 1 on the structure and function of the skeletal system, which is to know the roles of three components of synovial joints, ligaments, cartilage and tendons. So ligaments are tough pieces of connective tissue that connect bones to bones. Their role is to hold articulating bones together at joints, like the femur and the tibia being held together by the anterior cruciate ligament here at the knee. And this serves to prevent any unwanted movements from occurring. So they restrict movements and they keep the bones together at joints. Tendons are also tough pieces of connective tissue, but instead of connecting bones together, the tendons connect muscles to bones. Their main role is in producing movement. They transfer force from the muscles as they contract to the bones, therefore creating movement at joints. For example, as the bicep muscle contracts, it transfers force to the tendon, which is attached to the radius muscle in the forearm, and this produces flexion or a bending movement at the elbow joint. The final component of a synovial or freely movable joint that you need to know about is cartilage. So cartilage is a tough spongy material that lines the ends of articulating bones. So in this image you can see a layer of cartilage covering the ends of the bones in the knee joint. The role of the cartilage is to provide some shock absorption and to limit wear and tear on the bones by reducing friction. Now that was literally everything you need to know on the components of synovial joints. But before we finish, we'll just take a look at a past exam question to put this information into context. So basketball and netball players put a lot of stress on their knees during a match. Describe using practical examples from basketball or netball the role of ligaments, tendons and cartilage at the knee. So ligaments hold articulating bones together at joints and therefore prevent any unwanted movements which could result in injury when landing after after a jump shot in basketball. Tendons connect muscle to bone, so when the muscle contracts, it pulls on the bone creating movement, for example, to run around the court. And finally, cartilage protects the ends of articulating bones, providing some shock absorption in the knee when landing after a layup. Okay, so that was the last learning objective for chapter one on the structure and function of the skeletal system. Join me next time as we make a start on the structure and function of the muscular system.